quick little brake inspection for you, bud. Got a 14 CRV with uh, 300,000 miles on her, and she is squeaking. So we're gonna take a quick little gander here. See what's going on. Nice aftermarket rims. They are missing two of the centering rings. here yeah 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 that's uh, just a boot done for so these Honda brake pads the squeak sensor is on the inner pad so everybody who just peeks at the outer pad you're not actually seeing the uh, true thickness as the sensor sits about two millimeters from the uh, back of the pad there so Take this measuring doodad and we got just over two millimeters. That's right about when we recommend to replace them. Two millis. So just based off this side, you need some front brakes, bud. These boots have seen better days. <clears throat> Slides are a little stiff. We fixed that. Rotor's looking a little thin. Peek at this one, and oh buddy, that is just a boot there, bud. We got some uneven wear. You can see it's a lot thicker down there than it is at the top there. And the squeak sensor is at the top. You can see that she is just starting to touch that squeak sensor. So this one is zero millimeters to the sensor which means two millimeters of total thickness on the pad left. So a lot of people are asking why I measure from the sensor, and it's because you don't want to get to the sensor. We want to measure to the sensor, always. So left front's cooked. She's cooked, bud. This rotor looks even thinner. Ooh. Yeah, these slide pins have seen better days. Let's peek a gander in this boot here, bud. Brother, ooh, what's that? What's that, brother? That's beardy. Yeah, these slide pins have seen better days. Not bad, though. We're gonna fix her up. The rears are looking much better other than uh, this bracket. Straighten you out, bud. That's a Buddha six. So the inner pad measuring six. I wanna take two millimeters off there since the squeak sensor sits two millimeters out. So that's four millimeters to the sensor, bud. That is just fine. This bracket is looking a lot better. Four millis. So the rears are good. I'm not gonna worry about measuring the rotors in the rear. The fronts, however, looking a little thin there, bud. Ah, nine, three, five. Nine, three, three. Okay, and this uh, vernier caliper does have little recessed bits here, so the rotor lip does not catch. Front disc brake inspection, inspection, uh, all-wheel drive max refinish limit is 26 millimeters, 1.024 inches, so we are way under spec there, bud. Need uh, brake pads, new shiny rotors, lubricated these slide pins and there's definitely some mystery grease in there because these boots are all swollen and regular sil glide grease does not make these boots swell up so whatever anyways throw these guys on Just like that right chair some retainers for you bud 
In you go. Lovely. Right side. In you go. Container. In you go. Okay. That's looking mighty fine. See his wheels on, bud. So since there's no centering ring on this one, you can see all that play that it has. So it's up to these lug nuts to center the wheel. And Normally you should have those centering rings, they just help the rim center up on the hub so you don't run into any issues. Likely somebody took off these wheels and for whatever reason they did not put two of them back. Okay, centering ring. pounds for a bud.
pump up the brake pedal. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's terrifying. Hey, yeah. Uh, little tech tip for you, bud. Do not, and I repeat, do not double layer your floor mats. These uh, little locking tabs are here for a reason. When you double layer them, you can no longer lock it down. Over time, these can uh, scoot up here and cause poor acceleration. It can cause poor braking. And like you saw before, it's sticking like that. It can cause the brake pedal to stick. So, absolutely terrible. So I'm gonna put in a wreck for them to remove a set of floor mats so they don't crash their car. It may not seem like a big deal, but I've seen tons of cars come in with poor acceleration, braking issues, and it's their floor mats, so. Anyway, there we go. Start her up. Check this level here. Ooh. It's a little full. She's a little full there, bud. Get you nice cleaned up. Let's take some of that brake fluid out of there. That is dirty. I did recommend a brake fluid flush. They declined the service, so don't freak out, bud. Since the rear brake pads are a little under half-life, you don't want to fill it to the max. You want to leave it a little under. Max level is when you have brand new brake pads. It's going to be right at the top there, so that guy back on shoe on there a little tucky tuck and we're done so fresh and so clean very nice 